welcome back to another episode of Kid in a Sweet Shop. I am still with the brilliant Howard Donald. And in the last episode, he said that I could take one of his cars out with him for a spin. And of course, I had to choose this one, the brilliant F40. This is the first time we've had an F40 Great. on the channel and I get to get chauffeured by you. Yes. <laughs> this is just, I've got to pinch, it's a pinch me moment. I get to sit next to Geordie Kidd as well. Oh, stop it. <laughs> um, so when did you get her? Um, I got her probably six, seven years ago. Yeah. Um, from a place, uh, well, Dick love it. Yes. In Swindon. So did you go in there specifically for this car or did you go in and just have a mooch around and went, uh-huh? Oh no, well I actually told the guy that, that this is a car I'm after. Yeah. Non-cat, non-adjust, uh, F40. I'm yeah. always avoiding bumps in this car. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, non-cat, non-adjust car. And then I got a, call, a phone call and he said, right, we've got one in. It's come over, it's from Belgium. Um, so, I decided to buy it. Yeah. And then he, um, it was all done and prepped up and all. Amazing. Um, yeah, all amazing on their little yeah. showroom area where you come and pick up your car. Yeah. It all been validated a lot. Yeah, yeah. And then um, got in it. The weather was fine. Was Had around. you driven one before? Or? No. No. Okay. No, 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 no. And uh, got in this car going down the motorway. And halfway down the M4, the um, heavens. Decided, oh no. decided to open oh no. from this car. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> the engine cut out. <gasps> I was I pulled into the hard shoulder. God, that's slightly terrifying. Thank God, and I phoned, I phoned the guy, Ferrara says, the <laughs> broke down. So, very apologetic, <gasps> they came along and they, they came, came in a Mini and they came in a Ferrari FF. Yeah. Um, and they lifted up the front thing and the um, the battery thing had all burnt away on the battery. What? I don't know, something was in contact with something that it shouldn't yeah. have been in touch yeah. with. Oh my god, it got a caught on fire. Yeah, and it all burnt away and so therefore the car cut out. And I was so oh gutted and pissed. <laughs> the first day in this F4 and the car had really broke down. I know, and another moment where you're on the side of the motorway with everybody watching. <laughs> Well, I had to hide myself before. Oh, look at that! Look at that! In his Ferrari. You know what I mean? It's broke down. Ah, look at him, you know. Oh my God, this is brilliant. And so, um, oh dear. So they gave me the FF to use. Yeah. For a week until they it fix the problem. We were still first day. That's not a great start, is it? No, no, not a great start. But then fell in love. Yeah, fell in love with it. Yeah. Fell in love with it, absolutely. It is just such a weapon. I mean, it really is. It's just like, I can't, I'm just grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> so I like, I'm, I'm, I have yet to really drive one of these, but I was the, one of the first episodes of Kid and Sweet Shop was in an F50. Oh, right, okay. So I'll, did I'll you, F50. Oh, fantastic. And I had um, Joe Macari on and it was his car. Ah, right. And so Joe he was Macari. kind of talking about the differences between the 40 and the 50. And he was like, he was, he was like, he was slightly nervous of this car. And he was kind of saying that this car just wants to kill you at <laughs> any given moment. Um, whereas the F50, he said that you could take literally your grandmother could drive. Um, so this, this is a very easy car to drive. Yeah. Okay. So you, it's apart from almost catching on fire. You haven't had. Have you had any twitchy moments? Um, not really. I've had a few really bad. You know, you get out these bloody potholes in the road. Oh yeah. And I banged down them, and I thought, oh my god, I've got to look at the um, sills on the car. Yeah. Because they're probably screwed now, or they've probably been smashed in. Yeah. And it's probably going to be like that little bump there. Yeah. Just... Yeah. You go. And um, I've got to look at the sills. And luckily, it was fine. And you think, what? How much does actually a repair to a smashed sill on an F40 actually cost? Might have to sell one of the other cars. Oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 
It's such a brilliant car. Is this one, do you think, that will stay in your stay in the collection? I think so. You know, it's one of those where I always feel like your cars are not actually, you don't actually own your cars. You actually yeah, you're just look after them. Yeah, yeah, you pass them on. Yeah, but it is an utterly brilliant car. So, right, have you just, you, have you taken it around a track? No, no, not going to. Not going to? No. I don't fancy the idea of going into all the stones and the stone chipping yeah. all down one side of it. Yeah. Then, it's, then you've got to repaint the old car. Yeah. And it's like, well, I know what its capability is to, a, do, certain, so it's about to a certain say, degree. Right. You know, it's got a massive, as, as we know with F4s, it's, it's got a massive turbo lag. Yes. Um, not the sort, it's not the sort of car I would take out in icy weather. No. <laughs> yeah. blood, and we're in ice. January it's in England. Yeah. <laughs> does it not just make, like, it gives me, like, butterflies some excitement? It does, it does with me. And you, you are very wary of wherever you take it and where you've got to park it. Yeah. Because you know that a lot of people, it's going to attract oh, yeah. a lot of attention. Yeah. And, I'm the sort of person that shies away from attention, attention. really. And I don't but like... yet you're about to go on tour and stand in front of probably yeah. millions of people by the end of the year, singing, dancing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're a glutton for punishment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how many years have you had this now? I'd say seven, seven, eight years. Lovely. Something like that. And just kept it in the UK, just driving kept around. Kept in the UK. Yeah. I mean, I, I have looked into driving into Spa, not not racing around there. Yeah. I, I do. Do the homage. I, I love the old thing of going with a mate to watch, um, you know, like Le Mans 24 Hours Classic. Yeah. Yes. And um, the 12 hours, 12 hour at Spa. Yes. I love all that sort of stuff. I love watching the GT forces going down and when it gets dark and watching the fire coming out of the back of the Isn't that incredible? Oh, it's it's just... actually nice to take it out. I really do my best to try and use yeah. any of the cars whenever I can. Yeah. But I'm also very wary of what the weather's doing and if yeah, it's like exactly. a shed load of salt on the... Um, but it's kind of one of those things where you take out and then you go, oh, I should be taking this out more often kind of thing. And then you kind of put it, it back. And, and I do want to go on a long journey in it. And I, and I don't want to be... But she's comfortable. You know, she, she hasn't got any, I mean, ba very basic heating, no air very. conditioning. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there, there is no kind of comfort, creature comforts, would we say. But, you know, that's what we were saying is, you know, the, the beauty about this car is what is behind us and obviously the, the shape, but it's very basic. It's just like a felt. What is this? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Fuzzy felt. Fuzzy I don't know to get the kids to like stick little fuzzy felt flowers <laughs> on there, you know what I mean? But it's, um, yeah, very basic and, I, and that's actually genuinely what I love. I'm not really, I'm not really massively into modern cars. Yeah. Um, but the massaging seats. Yeah, because I know that I know that after a, I know that after a certain time I get pretty bored of it. Oh, oh bit baby. Yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the turbo's kicked in then. Oh yeah. Many of them knocking no. about on the road. I think people hide them away too much. 